Hello and welcome to Teddy Cinema Salon presents Aryan Talks. I am your Aryan, the world's best audience. So today our session is art. Yes, our favorite segment, audience roundtable. And today we have with us our uh, specialist panel. Manam intak mundo already under ni choose ni walme. Hemant, uh, uh, homeopathic uh, doctor, and at the same time a very loyal audience. uh we causing i mean this is our audience round table and uh, we have uh, uh, bharat sai bharat uh, who is from a theater background and uh, also writing something on k vishwanath garu um and shreshta uh, and lasya both are writers uh, in their own areas uh, so welcome all welcome uh, it is nice uh, meeting you after a pretty long time actually so today we are here uh, to discuss about uh, two important films that k vishwanath garu has uh, given to us uh, audience some gifts i mean what i call it is the s factor uh, we all know that uh, ayan cinema lanni sa ane aksharam tho start avutai so ala uh, he established something called s factor so uh, s factor ni ee roju manam discuss cheyabothunnam with two films uh, one is sirivenella and the other one is uh, on popular demand by <laughs> uh, lasya and uh, shreshta last time uh, swarna kamala uh, so first of all uh, manam uh, uh, sirivenella cinema gurinchi manam start cheyabothunnam uh, tell me what's your favorite thing about uh, uh, sirivenella film there are many many good memories to talk about so na journey sirivendala ane cinema chaala late ga modlayindi because uh, for me sirivendala was always a special movie adu nannu entala inspire chesindi em chesindi pakkan pedthe first when it strikes sirivendala ane cinema strike aithe uh, the first word that comes to my mind is uh, sukumar garu monna pushpa cinema teestunna appudu maat annaru oka protagonist ki ఒక లోపం ఏదైనా ఉంది అనుకోండి దట్ క్రియేట్స్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ డ్రామా అని చెప్తారు ఆయన దట్స్ వెన్ హీ క్రియేట్స్ మన రామ్ చరణ్ క్యారెక్టర్ ఇన్ రంగస్థలం కొంచెం నత్తిగాను వినిపించకుండా వినిపించకుండా అండ్ దెన్ పుష్ప క్యారెక్టర్ డిఫరెంట్ స్టైల్ లో కానీ కెన్ యూ trust me this is not a new thing which our directors are talking now right absolutely long back 1986 if i am not wrong a pustakam undi i am just uh, having that book so appudu oka danne antaru visually challenged visually inkoru one who cannot properly speak iddaru vyaktul madhya oka ఒక కథ ప్రొటాగనిస్ట్ ఇద్దరు మేల్ అండ్ ఫీమేల్ వాళ్ళిద్దరి మధ్య ఒక ప్రేమ కథ అనొచ్చు అండ్ దట్ బ్యూటిఫుల్ థింగ్ ఇస్ అంటే నాకు ఇప్పటికి కూడా ఎప్పుడైనా కూడా నేను నాకు చాలా ఇష్టం అని విధాత తలుపున వింటూ ఉంటే ఆ రేడియోలో సుహాసిని గారి ఎక్స్ప్రెషన్స్ ఉంటాయి షీ కెనాట్ సింగ్ బట్ షీ ట్రైస్ టు సింగ్ అండ్ దట్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ అంటే అది ఇమాజినేషన్ కూడా ఎలా వస్తుంది సార్ మీకు దిస్ ఇస్ వన్ థింగ్ రెండోది నాకు బాగా నచ్చింది అంటే బిఫోర్ వీ గో ఇన్ టు దట్ సెగ్మెంట్ ఐఎమ్ జస్ట్ టెలింగ్ దిస్ సర్వధర్మన్ బెనర్జీ గారికి దే టెల్ మెనీ థింగ్స్ అనమాట లాస్ట్ కి తన్ని శశానంద్ దగ్గరికి హీ వాక్స్ అండ్ గోస్ ఆఫ్ ద లాస్ట్ సీన్ అండ్ దీనికి ఇంకొక ప్యారల్ కూడా ఉంది ఇంకో సినిమాలో కూడా ఇలాంటి ఒక ఎండింగ్ సీన్ ఒకటి ఉంటుంది ఒక ఒకరు లేరు అని చెప్పడానికి ఇలాంటి ఐడియాస్ నాకు తెలిసి విశ్వనాథ్ గారు లాంటి వాళ్ళకే వస్తాయి ఫర్ దెమ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ జస్ట్ మళ్ళీ మాట అంటే నాకు సిరేందల్ గారి మాట గుర్తొస్తుంది కానీ బట్ ఐ విల్ సే దిస్ వాళ్ళకి ఇది అమలిన శృంగారంతో సమానం దట్ ఈస్ అ ప్యూర్ లవ్ ఫర్ దెమ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అ ప్యూర్ లవ్ Yes. That purity is not just in the attraction. I don't know if you want to see it or not. You don't want to see it or not. 
అంటే అమ్మాయిని చూస్తే ప్రేమ కలిగింది ఇస్ వన్ వన్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ థింగ్ కానీ అమ్మాయిని చూడలేదు నాకు తెలీదు పైగా ఇంకా బ్యూటిఫుల్ థింగ్ ఏంటంటే మున్మున్ సేన్ క్యారెక్టర్ మున్మున్ సేన్ గారి క్యారెక్టర్ అండ్ దీనికి విశ్వనాథ్ గారు చాలా సార్లు చాలా ఇంటర్వ్యూల్లో చెప్పారు కాబట్టి నేను ఐఎమ్ నాట్ రిపీటింగ్ ఆయన నువ్వు ఎప్పుడైనా అమ్మాయిని పట్టుకున్నావా లేదు అయితే నీకు ప్రకృతిని అర్థం చేయడం చాలా సింపుల్ ఫార్ హిమ్ ఐ విల్ సే దిస్ ఫార్ హిమ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ప్రకృతి పురుషుడు బేస్ లైన్ నథింగ్ ఎక్స్ట్రా అటాచ్ టు ఇట్ అండ్ నన్ను సిరివెన్నెల ఎంత ఇన్స్పైర్ చేసిందో పక్కన పెడితే దెర్ ఆర్ సో మెనీ పీపుల్ లైవ్ గా ఇప్పుడు మ్యూజిక్ డైరెక్షన్స్ చేస్తూ సంగీత విద్వాంసులు ఎంతో మందికి సిరివెన్నెల ఒక ప్రేరణ ఇంత మందికి ప్రేరణ కదా అని చెప్పి నేను పట్టుబట్టి బాంబే వెళ్ళినప్పుడు ఐ మేడ్ ఇట్ అ పాయింట్ టు మీట్ హరిప్రసాద్ చౌరసియా గారు అండ్ ఆయన హైదరాబాద్ వచ్చినప్పుడు ఐ వాస్ ఫార్చునేట్ ఇనఫ్ దట్ ఆయన ఒక ఏకలవ్య శిష్యులు శ్రీ తాళూరు నాగరాజ్ గారు అని మ్యూజిక్ డైరెక్టర్ ఫర్ ఆదిశంకర అనే సినిమా అండ్ మెనీ మోర్ మూవీస్ జస్ట్ నోటబులీ ఆదిశంకర చెప్తున్నాను ఆయన నేను వీ హ్యాడ్ సమ్ గుడ్ టైమ్ అండ్ ఐ కెన్ స్టిల్ సి ఆయనలో ఉన్న ఎనర్జీ దట్ ఎవరైనా పాడుతూ ఉంటే ఎంజాయ్ చేయగలగడం that's when i i probably feel oka musician life is eternal hmm. and alante oka uh, i can't say this is but uh, inspired story ne anukuntunnan nenu dan official records ait ekkada levu but i feel it's it's kind of a life of uh, mana hariprasad chaurasya garu more or less okay in a fictional way and last sirvenal garu these are few things ante sirvenala anangane tappa 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 volcanic eruptions lo okokka pai kostun chudandi ala okokka memory tak 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 ani vachestundi right ante nado pasana ani sirvenal gar rasina oka adbhutamaina poem hmm that is what we are uh, listening సరసస్వర సుర జరీగ మనమౌ సామ వేద సారం ఇది ఈజ్ ఫ్రమ్ హిజ్ నాదోపాసన దాన్నే మళ్ళీ రీరైట్ చేసి కరెక్ట్ చేసి సినిమాకి ఇచ్చారు సో దట్ వాస్ ద ఇనిషియల్ ఫేజ్ ఆఫ్ సిరివెన్నెల గారు సో ఆయనకి సినిమా ఈక్వేషన్ సినిమా పాటకి ఉండే ఈక్వేషన్స్ అన్ని తెలుసుకుంటున్న టైం అన్నారు ఇన్ మెనీ ఇంటర్వ్యూస్ అండ్ వెన్ వెన్ వీఆర్ డూయింగ్ ద వర్క్ ఫర్ ద సిక్స్త్ ఎడిషన్ నాదోపాసన అనే కవిత్వ కవిత్వం చూసినప్పుడు ఐ వాజ్ లైక్ ఇది ఇది సిరివెన్నెల గారు దీన్ని దీన్ని ఈ పాటగా మలిచారు అన్నప్పుడు ఫర్ మీ ఇట్ వాజ్ లైక్ అ వెరీ బ్యూటిఫుల్ థింగ్ దాంట్లో ఒక్కొక్క పాట ఒక్కొక్క ఎక్స్ట్రాడినరీ ఎక్స్ప్రెషన్ అంటే ఇది అని చెప్పలేము అంటే ఇప్పుడు ఒక రకంగా చెప్పాలి అంటే బాగా వండిన ఒక వంటకాన్ని దీంట్లో ఏమేమి ఉన్నాయి అంటే ఏం చెప్తాం వంటకం బాగుంది అద్భుతంగా ఉంది ఇప్పుడు హేమంత్ యాడింగ్ ఆన్ టు యువర్ పాయింట్ దీంట్లో పాటలు ఎంత వైభవంగా ఉంటాయంటే ఫస్ట్ థింగ్ ఆ సరస్వర సుర సరిగా మనము ఆ పాట ఈజ్ అన్ ఇన్స్పిరేషన్ ఫర్ మెనీ సింగర్స్ ఈ రోజు కూడా ఈ పాటని పాడకుండా ఒక స్కూల్ ఫంక్షన్ స్టార్ట్ అవుతుంది ఓ చిన్నప్పుడు లైక్ యాక్చువల్లీ నేను చిన్నప్పుడు అంత సిరివెల్ల కేమ్ ఇన్ టు మై లైఫ్ వెరీ లేట్ కొంచెం లేట్ గానే వచ్చింది నా లైఫ్ లో ఆ మూవీ అనేది బట్ ఆ సాంగ్స్ అన్ని నాకు స్కూల్లో పిల్లలందరూ పాడేస్తున్నారు మరేంటి వాళ్ళందరూ ఆ పాట ఇన్స్పిరేషన్ తీసుకున్న వాళ్ళందరూ సంగీతం అకాడమీలో జాయిన్ అయిపోతున్నారు అంటే ఒక సెకండ్ అనిపించి వాట్ ఇస్ దిస్ ఇన్ఫ్లుయెన్స్ అనే థాట్ అయితే మైండ్ లోకి వచ్చింది ఐ మీన్ అండ్ ఇంకొకటి ఏంటంటే దర్ ఇస్ వన్ మోర్ సాంగ్ ఆది భిక్షువు వాడిని ఏది కోరేది గుడి తెచ్చే వాడిని ఏది అడిగేది అది అస్సలు అంటే అంటే శివుడిని తిడుతూ ఒక పాట రాయటం ఏంటి అది భక్తి సాంగ్ ఆఫ్ ద డెకెడ్ దట్ ఈస్ ద భక్తి సాంగ్ ఆఫ్ ద డెకెడ్ మెనీ డెకెడ్స్ పర్ హ్యాప్స్ and uh, i have to speak about the ban of the hour here 
సరదమన్ బెనర్జీ గారు ఆ నేను ఏమంటానంటే ఒక యాక్టర్ కి కీ స్ట్రెంగ్త్ ఉండేది కళ్ళల్లో వాట్ ఎవర్ ఎమోషన్ యు హ్యావ్ ఇక్కడ పలుకుతుంది ఈవెన్ ఇన్ మైక్రో ఎక్స్ప్రెషన్స్ మీరు అబద్ధం చెప్పలేరు ఇవి నిజం చెప్పేస్తాయి సో అంత సూపర్ పవర్ కళ్ళకు ఉంటుంది అండ్ అట్లాంటి సూపర్ పవర్ ని తీసేసి యాక్జమ్ అన్నారు ఆయన అది ఎలా ట్రాన్స్లేట్ అయింది ఈయన ఎలా రిసీవ్ చేసుకున్నారు అంటే ప్రతి ఆయన ఇచ్చే ప్రతి జెస్టర్ కి ప్రతి ఆ రోల్ లో కంప్లీట్ గా ఒదిగిపోయి చేసే అంత ఫ్రమ్ వేర్ డిడ్ హీ గెట్ దాట్ అండ్ వాట్ డిడ్ హీ టెల్ హిమ్ టు గెట్ టు దాట్ ప్లేస్ ఇట్ ఇట్స్ బోత్ డైరెక్టర్ అండ్ యాక్టర్ బోత్ హ్యావ్ టు బీ ఆన్ సేమ్ పేజ్ ఫర్ ఫర్ సచ్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ థింగ్ అండ్ మోర్ ఓవర్ మన మా సినిమా చూస్తున్నప్పుడు మనకు కలిగే అనుభూతి కూడా అలానే ఉంటుంది అంటే when when we see him we exactly know that that is the character exactly portrayed ante meek ayana baadha padutunnappudu baadha estundi ayana ecstasy lo unnappudu meer kuda ecstatic ayipotharu meer kuda aa ecstasy ni enjoy chestharu and when ante this i have to tell ayana flute play chese tappudu i have seen many people manak reels lo kaani dantlo kaani ఫ్లూట్ వాయించేటప్పుడు ఫింగర్ మూవ్మెంట్స్ అవి ఇవి కూడా అటు ఇటు ఉంటాయి కానీ ఇఫ్ యు సీ ఇన్ ద ఫిలిం ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ అంటే మీరు యు కంప్లీట్లీ గెట్ కన్విన్స్డ్ దట్ ఒక సంగీత విద్వాంసులే తెర మీద ఉన్నారు అని సో అండ్ ఐ టేక్ అ పాజ్ సార్ ఇట్ ఈస్ వెరీ 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 హ్యాపీ మూమెంట్ టు సీ యూ నమస్కారం నమస్కారం సార్ Uh, welcome. Yeah. So, yeah. audience, yeah. we have with us uh, the man of the hour, Sarvadaman Banerjee here. Uh, sir, welcome on board, sir. Uh, it is a real, real pleasure talking to you. Uh, <laughs> uh, even looking at you also, that's, that's, I mean, I can't believe my eyes, to be frank. <laughs> you know, last year I was going, Haga, like, I haven't told anybody that you're coming in, sir. um mm. but uh, i think except for last year that too it got slipped off but the other people in the panel it was a surprise that uh, uh, you're coming in so i i have to tell you my friend uh, uh, mine uh, madhu aha uh-huh. he messaged me okay so today i thought let's join <laughs> <laughs> thank you sir thank you uh, so sir now that we have you we can all dump our questions we can all dump our ego <laughs> and uh, i'm sorry to say this but you have to answer all those things <laughs> yeah 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 so uh, one of uh, the thing that i was uh, talking about is uh, sir an actor's strength is in his eyes hmm aapki jo koi jo ko bhi andar ki emotion hai aankhon mein dikh jata hai it it's visible hmm. in his and he told that you don't have eyes and now you have to perform <laughs> uh, and uh, i mean uh, how, how was that like sir sir uh, and you have translated everything that he said uh, mm. into your character uh, mm. how did uh, how was that like i don't i know many of pe- many people have asked you about these things but probably call us ignorant or no anything. no this is the first time somebody is asking about sri vendel <laughs> <laughs> i'm glad i'm honored i am I'm, I do some work and then I get lost. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And then I come back. Okay. <laughs> so I please never be interviewed about Sri Vedanta. I'm it's it's my pleasure I I can't say anything. Uh so mm-hmm. please tell us sir how how did this happen uh Sri Vedanta. See uh I want to tell uh like uh when uh vishwanath ji told me about, about this character hmm. <coughs> uh, i told him i said sir first i have to speak telugu okay this is my second telugu picture right. then i have to play a blind man then <laughs> i have to play flute and i have not done any of these <laughs> so i told him you know i i at least need 15 days of training for you know with flute and all that 
And for the blind thing, I told him, uh, if you can give me contact lenses, okay. which is which is opaque, which you can't see, okay. you know, uh -huh. so that will help me a lot. So he said yes, yes to everything, and he didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so last like tomorrow we are going to shoot. We are in uh, we are in the Nandi Hills, uh -huh. and we came to Bangalore for shopping. And I was like waiting that we will go to one uh, like contact shop and I I lens shop and you know get my contact. He's not saying no also. Huh? <laughs> and then we finish all the shopping and then he said, Ah, now let's go, let's go. And we sit in the car. I said, Hey, what happened? <laughs> you know. So he he told me, uh, you said that Nasir has used this in one film, you know, opaque lens. Mm -hmm. So we will not do what he has done, you know. We will not. <laughs> <laughs> so there, so there went my thing. I said okay, and then when we were shooting, he said, you see, you are blind, okay, but uh, I want. To, I'm going to pictureize your eyes. I want to see everything in your eyes. <laughs> I said, sir, now when we start doing it, then only you will know, you know, if I'm doing it or not. Uh, right, right. So, uh, one thing was that uh, I was so interested uh, in this, uh, you know, doing this film. Very, very extremely interested, one. And second, with Vishwana Ji, you know, my tuning was like, you know, like, you know, uh -huh. 69, 69, 69, 96. Uh -huh. <laughs> <You know? laughs> we were like, right, right, right. So, and when, in fact, when we were going back on that day, when he didn't buy my contact lens, this is one day before the shooting. So he told me, Balaji, you know, there's one problem with the script and we are trying to solve for five, six months and I have got four, five writers. So I said, I said he knew that I had come from FTI. I, I write scripts and I'm making films, you know. Mm -hmm. So that background was there. So he told me this is the problem. One blind girl is there, and that character of the blind girl, you know. Mm -hmm. So I told him one story of Beethoven. Beethoven. <laughs> yeah, Beethoven. Beethoven actually goes to. Uh, he used to go to one uh, bridge. And from there, he used to see one man sitting near the river and looking at the water every day. Hmm. Okay. So one day he asked somebody, he said, what that man is doing there? Why, why he keeps looking? So somebody told him uh, that, sir, he's a blind man. And somebody has told him that look into the water one day, he will see the moon. The day he sees the moon, he will get his eyesight back. So I told him this story and what Beethoven did, he went back and he created Moonlight Sonata. You know that famous Moonlight Sonata? Uh -huh. He brought his musician to the bridge and he played the Moonlight Sonata and the man got up from that looking at the water saying, I have seen the moon, I have seen the moon, I have seen the moon. <laughs> You see, um, so that Taj, Taj Mahal thing, no? Right, right, right. That he translated this story into that. And he was so like happy. He told me, will you join with me in the story writing department? <laughs> <I> said, <"No." laughs> so this is how we were tuned, you know. So, you know, I could feel his heart. And many things, when he was talking about that second character, the, the, uh, the, poor, the poor character, hmm. You know, so I told him, you know, we should change his hairstyle. Like sometimes he would think something and I would say before he could say. So two, three times when I did that. So he said, Banerjee, how you do that? <laughs> <laughs> so I told him, sir, this is called tuning, tuning, tuning. <laughs> so this is, you have to fall in love with your director to do a movie. Uh, Wonderful, sir. Um, I mean, uh, there are a lot more questions in my mind, but I would like to uh, open it up to my other members in the audience so that okay. uh, uh, even they feel, uh, you know, I won't take the limelight. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. 
So, Sreshta, if you have anything, uh, Sreshta, anybody, please, uh, if you have anything, please ask uh, Sardaraman sir on how it went. Sreshta, hey, month. Uh, sir, actually, I have one question. Like, how, how did you nail nail the, you know, musician character to, to the T? How, how did that happen? Like, just now, Hemant Garo was also talking about the same thing. See, ki, I'll tell you. you know, uh, uh, I'll tell you. See, if you see my Shankracharya, Hmm. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. I I was living the life of that man there. If you see my Vivekanand, if you see Krishna, hmm. okay. So how did I nail all the, all all these people? <laughs> I'll tell you how. See, to me, I don't believe in all the acting theories and everything. You know, uh, neither Brecht nor Stanislavski. I know all of them. I have. You know, learned and done all of them. You know what I am always trying to seek? I am trying to seek the soul of the character. Until and unless I feel that, you know, that, you know, it's like it's, you know, and I am, I am out and that is in. Okay. Till I... That is the point that I, I seek in my, uh, you know, doing a role. And the moment I get it, normally I get it in second day or third day, you know, the moment I get it from there, then I can do anything. You know, hmm. it's like, you know, that I feel, I, I know that I am that. There is no difference. Now I understand how the aura you get in, you know, when you play Krishna or when you play uh, Rama, you know, like the aura that we see in you, like we actually feel that you are him. <laughs> now I understand how it happens. Uh, I have a question. Um, mm. You know, um, Sirivanala, I mean, uh, you stay somewhere else. You don't stay in Telugu states. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. That time I was staying in Madras. Uh-huh. Okay, so uh, what, why I am asking this question is because uh, Sirivendala um, has, you know, has leapt into our life. Mm. Uh, for I, I mean, it's a, it's such a cult. It's such a big deal for us. Uh, mm. Has influenced our childhoods. People who want to be artists, people who pursue music till date, Sirivendala is is very emotional to them, and it's it's such a big film. Uh, mm. uh, I mean, in, in, even inside our heads. So, mm. I want to ask you: uh, Do you do you get news uh, of what kind of film uh, you have given, or what kind of influence uh, the people in Telugu states are feeling about your film? I sometimes I, see. I've been in touch with uh, the Andhra. That time, I was doing some other films. Also, I did, you know. Uh, during that period. So, uh, also in between, I kept coming and going. Mm -hmm. So, like one meeting, I remember, I was doing a Telugu uh, Hindi serial and it was being directed by a Telugu director. Mm -hmm. So, in the evening, all film people were there in the party and we were called. Mm -hmm. So, they were distributors, exhibitors, mm -hmm. okay, and Sri Venela fans and there mm -hmm. were about 50-60 people. And there, there, you know, people had seen, I had some friends from Lucknow, so I said, see, I want to show you, uh, you know, you probably don't know, I've done a picture called Sri Verela and how deep it is gone into the hearts of Andhra people, you will see in today's party, okay. So I was thinking, you know, some people will say that I have seen, everybody had seen the movie and I didn't believe my ears. I don't believe it even now. You know, maybe I'm saying it wrong. Somebody said people had seen it more than 30 times, 40 times, you know. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And one person was there. He said, for my marriage, for my wedding night, we went and saw Siri Vanilla. <laughs> I said, wow. <laughs> and there was the maximum was 60 times. Wow. I said, what? 60 times you have seen. I still meet people like when I went to do the Chiranjeevi film just now, Godfather. Yes, yes. I met one lady stopped my car and he said, I am a Chiranjeevi, uh, Sri Venana fan, and you know, I've been watching it for so many years. Right, right, right. 
you know it that film has become spirit see that very story the very character you know what is that character a man who cannot see with the eyes but if he can see with the mental eye the third eye right now he is what he is like a little shiva you know <laughs> right even now okay raymond was telling that uh, how the film is about uh, prakruti and purusha yes uh, because uh, munmun sen ji uh, she hugs you and she tells you oh you don't know about nature i'll tell yeah. you what nature is and mm. uh, how she describes the woman oh, that's so beautiful no right and she right. says the sun is like this right, and is right, <laughs> you know when i was doing i used to get goosebumps when doing that picture <laughs> so that you won't believe it, doing that entire picture i was in bliss <laughs> really wow. you can see it on my face right, right. absolutely yeah. uh, so i would like uh, um, bharat uh, if you have anything uh, please ask uh, for this. i don't sir i don't want to trouble you much uh no no we are like imagine in that fact, i am troubling you by coming in your program <laughs> come on uh, it would it is our pleasure to have you on the show i mean sir we are a, a small group of people it's a small, small channel uh i mean i didn't think we would be honored like this to have you uh, on our show and i am absolutely thankful for, uh, for you sir uh, thank you so much uh, thank you. so uh, bharat uh, you have anything bharat alasha and neeman i'm opening up uh, you guys uh, hello sir actually it's like i'm feeling like so so blessed like seeing you directly uh, you know i'm not getting the words exactly but i have <laughs> the rest of the people they uh, asked the certain things i have only one question sir i mean i'm a film aspirant i want to be a director so when you heard this story first time Like see, uh, you are saying like you went to FTI and all. So when there is a standard for any script, for any story, there will be a certain things we have to keep high, we have to keep low, and we have to keep uh, audience engaging with certain points and all. And Sirvan is like out of all those things. You know, there is like the character, the main character is blind, and then the supporting one, uh, she like uh, she cannot speak. and uh, the heroine uh, she is not the kind of person we look up to as a heroine and the other characters that we have again another uh, blind person again another disability and all you know we see this uh, story it is not a regular uh, template kind of story so when you heard it uh, i'm not a, talking about the execution and all uh, reception of the audience what was your thing if you are going to do uh, did you think like it will affect your uh, acting career or 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 something I'll, how i'll tell you something very shocking hmm. i never heard the script he never told me the script oh <laughs> <laughs> this was my first film no see when you are working with a master you hmm. just know it <laughs> the moment you see him the moment you shake hands or whatever and he had he had seen my adi shankracharya and i i vaguely remember i'm not very sure i think he gave me a call and he said banerji one day we'll do one picture and in this picture it was kamal hasan who was going to play the role ah so he called in between he i was doing a picture called shri datta darshan ah and he sent his uh, associate director and i asked who is this he says he's k vishwanath man he's come to see you <laughs> so then he told me uh, this kamal is not giving me dates maybe we are going to do this picture in the initially he told me and then he called me and we had a photo session and it was done in the photo session like before he could say something i was doing it <laughs> <laughs> it happens like this you know super it's like i'm telling you it's like falling in love even when i did krishna mm-hmm. you won't believe when we were finishing krishna seven or it was shot in 10 years okay in the last five years i was shooting and my thing was just going to get over like one year was left so i was doing bhagavad gita doing the gita you know so from the rath i asked ramanand sagar i put one question i said sir now only one year left okay it's seven six seven years have passed i am waiting when you will direct me he never directed me by the way vishwanath never directed me oh. first day he was showing me acting 
first day. Okay. And only one shot we took, one scene we took. Remember when I come and find that uh, Ganesh mm -hmm. near the tree right. and Suhasini comes. I have come to the village. That was the first scene. Okay. Okay. So he showed and I am so uh, this thing about anybody showing me acting because I don't know how I act. You know, if you show me, <laughs> if you show me acting, it's the end. I can't do, I have to leave the movie. So I said, oh my God, this guy is showing me. So I saw, you know what I did? I saw what he did and I gave him a shot in which I didn't do anything that he did. And he clapped. You know? Okay. <laughs> in the evening, I was just telling the associate director, I said, if he shows me like this, I am, I am going to leave the movie. I can't do the movie, you know. It's like I am cheating my soul. I can't do it. Okay. What are you saying, sir? It's such a big director. Sir. You are saying, sir, he has done this. He does to Kamala Hassan. He does it to this thing. He has done, you know, for 25 years is a record. I said, I don't know about the record. I only know one thing. I can't do the movie. Okay, and we had one bet for 2,000 rupees. Okay, 2,000 rupees bet. Bet was that he will stop doing that and he will, you know, okay. <laughs> he will not. Okay, so they said impossible. So I said, okay. So second day, he again did. And again, I did the same thing. I did ex didn't do anything what he was showing. And I gave the shot. And he saw it in second shot, third shot, like maybe two scenes we did or something like that, or three, four shots. So he realized he's not doing anything what I'm showing. <laughs> okay. Now, third day morning, morning. Okay. The happiest day of my life. You see, I had one stick note in my hand. No. That blind man's right, right, right. Yes. In the morning, I used to give the stick to him. He used to do the shot. <laughs> and then he used to give it. So in the third day, third day, I'm giving the stick. He gave the stick back to me. <laughs> so I gave him, I said, no, no, sir. He's saying, no, no. But I, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> so two, three, no, no. Then I said, oh, my God. <laughs> so it only, in not three days, only in one day, I, that, see, again, the tuning. Now he also, how he is, he is doing something for 25 years and now in one day he changes how. So you should ask him. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then, so from then on, it was, we were like on fire. Superb, superb. <laughs> well, sir. Uh, 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 sorry, uh, last year you have anything to ask? Last year and Hema. Yeah, please. <laughs> Uh, hi, sir. Uh, it's such a pleasure to meet you. I'm, I'm excited so much. It's, my heart is not yet in the no, no, normal no, no, no. space. You say you can go to the heart surgeon. Check it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I should. I think I should. Because uh, Krishna uh, is a huge thing in our family. Uh, everyone is a big fan of yours. And now I'm like looking at you directly and talking to you directly. It's like such a such a big thing for me. <laughs> uh, but I have this question. Where do you stay? Where uh, do you stay? Uh, uh, I'm in Hyderabad. Hello. Hyderabad. I'm going to come. Uh, 11th, I'm shooting uh, another picture with Dalker Salman. Dulker okay, Salman. Okay. Uh, super. I'm going for the last oh, schedule. 11th, I'll be there. Super, sir. Oh, wow, sir. I, I hope we meet. I, hope we meet. <laughs> we meet. I want to make some more friends in Hyderabad. I get bored. When there is no shooting, I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please come to our home, okay. sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> we'll all be there to entertain you. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, last year. Yeah, we're all like. <laughs> so, uh, uh, my question was that uh, every movie you do, you might have learned something. Uh, I heard that actors. They uh, have their entire worldview changed for some movies. Did did that happen with Siri Vanilla or with anything any other movie that you have done? Did it impact you in such such a yeah. tremendous way? Okay, a very good question. You see, I came into cinema. I was not very. Fa I'm still not very fascinated with uh, you know films as such. I only see a film if it's a great film. 
Number one, I don't see films for entertainment. Okay, number one. Number two, I came into the field of art and cinema uh, with my basic purpose was, see, I actually had no desire when I was 19, 20, I had no desire. You know, in the first five years of my life, I was in silence. I knew how to talk. I was not talking. So obviously, I had a spiritual, you know, my past life, something I had. So I was just looking for some work which would help me explore myself and life and, you know, spirituality and all that. So, and I got all those works. Only. <laughs> okay. So for me, every work was a trip. And the, when I signed Krishna, okay, I refused to do Krishna because I told her, I said, sir, enlightened, enlightenment, so I have, you know, understood and done something. But how does one play God? Impossible. I don't want to do, you know, you, you please find somebody who wants to do some, you know, uh, fake acting like Krishna, like many people have done. I refuse to do. Either I know what God is, or otherwise, I don't do Krishna. So, my prayer to Krishna was, see, I, I hope I'm answering your question. With everything I had, I had these obstacles and my prayer, see, Ramanath Sagar said, you are doing the role and he said, sign. I said, no. He's putting the thing in front of, he put the thing, he said, 4,000 people out of 4,000 people we are giving, even stars want to do this role, they are giving, give, wanting to give us 50 lakhs. To, you know, they are giving me, <laughs> and we are giving your role and you are saying, no, I said, no. I said, you called me for a cup of tea, you told me a lie, then you made me do this, I have done it, now I need 10 days, after 10 days I will reply yes or no. And I went back home and I told, like sitting like this, I, I'm talking to Krishna. I said, see, you have, you caught me. I, by cheating, you took me there. You put all this makeup on me. You have done all this. Okay. It is your work, not my work. If you show me that you are with me, I will do this. Otherwise, I will not do it. And I'm not going to read your Gita because I've already read I will not go to your temple and pray. Nothing. It is you have taught, you have passed out me there. So now you show me. And on the eighth day, I am going to meet. Ten days I took, right? On the eighth day, I am going in a, a taxi to meet Bashu Bhattacharya because we were writing the script of Swami Vivekananda at that time. Okay. And suddenly I see in the sea, the whole sea, there was golden sun. The whole sea was gold. The entire sea, huge sea, gold. And waves were coming up from that from the sky, such fat, fat drops of rain is falling. Okay, unusual. And when I saw the gold on every wave, because there was a breeze also, on every wave, there is such a big Krishna standing, millions of Krishna. And I saw and fell down in the auto. When I woke up, that energy hit me so much. No? I, when I woke up, I told this taxi driver, I said, take, go to Juhu, to Brahman and Sagar. Then I told him, where's your file? I signed. And you won't believe, when I did the entire Krishna, Krishna was with me throughout. When I was doing Gita, when I was standing and doing the Gita on the Rath, okay, we used to shoot between 11 to 4. Okay? And I'm standing there, you won't believe, I could see 360 degrees. Only there and when doing Gita. Now who see? It's him. 360 degrees I could see. But when I came down, I could see, you know, 180 degrees only. And there used to be so much light, so much light when I was doing that I, when I would open my eyes, I couldn't see. There was only white in front of me like milk. And it used to take one or two, one second, you know, to clear. And suddenly it would clear. And then everything would be shining with that light. That's how I was doing Gita. <laughs> so it was a you know journey till that. And that's why when I finished Krishna, I said, okay, I, this my career was over because this is what I want to finish. Yes. So as a part of that. <laughs> uh, Hemant, uh, you had something? 
uh, no uh, actually uh, after listening to this much of journey uh, the spiritual touch uh, i have lost many of my words sir but uh, <laughs> but for me uh, i have also heard two three anecdotes uh, during ramayana and all when ramanand sagar ji also shared few things like when they had to shoot for a crow uh, the crow appeared and yeah, that i was not in i was not in ramayana i was in shri no no that uh-huh. that reminded me of this oh yeah 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 by the way if you do any spiritual project if you do any project not only spiritual any project if you do in cinema see you have to go into it dive into it so much okay that it is going to affect your life and those forces which with which you are playing no they become active when you are doing that work your question was what no questions i was just making that a point uh, that so i agreement see in uh, in in uh, sri venula uh, so many things were happening you know sri venula was even vishwana ji suppose vishwana ji thought uh, sri venula should be like you know i will make a film which is like will get five five points even sri uh, vishwana ji felt oh it's got 10 <laughs> <Not five. laughs> you know what i mean See, some, see, when you do something with your heart and soul, then the other greater powers they start acting, and you don't know where you will go. Isn't it? Yes, sir. Like this, like this interview is a little bit like that. <laughs> 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 Who thought this interview will be like this? Absolutely, sir. Actually, ah, yeah. this is how Sir Ivan Elam is made. Right. <laughs> Yeah. you know another thing i want to tell you which you will not know some of the scenes vishwanath ji was so inspired with you know the, his crew like his actors everybody the camera men you know like a perfect crew so one one scene if you remember i am sitting and some people are interviewing me okay and where i say that actually my love is somebody like you know where i re- reveal in words it is a you know a woman that i love and i was my whole music is inspired by her you know that time we have not shown munmun sen so people are asking me questions you remember that scene one scene that scene was written earlier vishwanath ji in that location there was you know like little mist and we were on the top of the hill it was a beautiful location he said wait he took up a pen took up paper he wrote the scene again you know so he was also you understand he was also like walking at in inspired level otherwise how you suddenly write and he said this is the scene now how <laughs> we do this scene not tell that scene right <laughs> right so like, you see when we write a script we are writing sitting in a room and imagining the uh, location when we go to the location suppose it is far better than what we thought if you are a creative director you will change your scene isn't it so he is that those things also thank you sir uh, i mean i'm glad i mean i'm mind blown actually uh, there's the <laughs> words uh, that uh, sri krishna appeared on our show are no <laughs> now uh, i i think i humble servant to shri krishna <laughs> i mean it, uh, there are no words sir it's it's a blessing for us uh, that you were uh, even on, on our show uh, i mean uh, for most of uh, these people here it's a surprise i didn't tell your name and all uh, i can uh, when first time mention even before you were there i i happened to mention your name and i see josh dropping oh um, <laughs> <laughs> So one thing i want to say i am very interested in doing good telugu movies okay oh, so if you get right. anything or if anybody gets anything please let me know arun uh, you and i am fit and young and strong and even better than i was in sri vedana super good <laughs> and i am pretty sure uh, when in sri vedana one of the popular thing uh, in those days i mean uh, it was my mom and their friends and all uh, they all were a huge uh, fans of yours and they apparently have a huge crush on you 
so uh, now i think this if if you act in telugu films it's it's going to continue again <laughs> uh they, they are definitely going to have a huge crush on you and i'm pretty sure uh, <laughs> you you you're going to enjoy this one uh, and uh, thank you sir what are you saying even i have a crush on him <laughs> okay here is one uh so sir like you you just said you know, that you know throughout in, in throughout in rishikesh there are lots of females who come no uh-huh. so one 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 there's one lady who she actually my a very good friend but everybody thinks she's my wife okay uh, my ex wife lives in mumbai and my daughter lives in mumbai and you know now i'm living almost alone but i have you know i i love uh, i think i do pranam to all the feminine energy and, and i think uh, any country any country wants to become great okay uh, you must uh, bow down to your females and you know let them be what they are they are all you know active goddesses okay so in any country who wants to go down just suppress your females and your country will go down you know so there was this one lady she is telling alankrita i am his wife she came from somewhere okay she is come from dubai and she is telling i am his wife you know many people say i am your wife i am your wife i said oh what is your number you know <laughs> so alankrita said acha you are his wife oh he has many which one are you which <laughs> she said i am also one <laughs> anyway i'm just joking huh? but they are all my friends all friends thank you for joining with us um, it's it's a i mean huge gesture from your end uh, to support people uh, like us uh, i mean uh i'm i'm at loss of words sir uh, thank, <laughs> thank you for uh, please, please don't thank me and so thankful that you know i'm uh, doing a telugu program and you know <laughs> i have some friends here and wow <laughs> uh, and trust me sir you do have a lot of friends in this panel itself uh, and whenever you are in hyderabad uh, please let so us any know. anything you think i can do if i can teach meditation i can do a film i, I can do anything please call me okay i am yeah, available please. Really, uh, you know who to contact Vaishnavi. Yes, I, I do, sir. I do. Yeah. Um, and uh, sir, uh, you, I mean, we are given half an hour of your time, and we are full for more than an hour or so. I don't. Uh, I don't believe in time. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, sir. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you. Uh, that is. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. My my love to all my Telugu fans and the whole of Andhra Pradesh. and all sri venal lovers and thank you so much i come to hyderabad please come and see me i'll tell you which hotel and all that okay thank you so much bye sir thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir so thank you all the panelists uh, thank you mr uh, sarvadaman banerjee garu uh, and thank you all the people who are uh, serving in between Uh, it's like i knew a guy he knows a guy he knows a guy he knows a guy and ultimately it reached to uh, mr uh, sarvadaman benerji gar um in all the in between people majlo no all andarki nenu manaspurthi ga dhanyavadalu cheptunnanu because uh, it's been almost a year since uh, we are doing uh, this art show every month we are doing this one and uh, finally uh, today we had uh, sarvadaman benerji gar on our show uh so that's it our audience that's it uh, from our end audience round table uh it's it's our old it's our tribute to uh, dr k vishnath garu ma ee chinni prayatnam ayaniki me varpinche nivaru thank you everybody uh, also please don't forget to like share and subscribe ladies in muscle don't presents aryan talks this is aryan the world's best audience signing off Thank you.